Hi, I'm Dwayne. Today I pick up a new song, the second song by the Black Baby Metal, namely the Song of Four. Four. Yon no uta. Yon no uta. Yon no uta. Song of Four or Song Four. Well, the title gives us an impression that this is stupidly, this is ridiculously simple song. Right? Whoever in the history of music sang a song of the number four. Maybe the Black Baby Metal is the first group who ever sang a song about the number four. Uh, well, the title looks very simple, but there's more to it. Uh, so I will explain the, a little bit about the background of this song and the number four. Okay. Well, uh, number four has two readings in Japanese, okay. two pronunciations. Okay. Number one is yon. Okay, yon, okay. yon. Thus, yon no uta, yon yon z. Song is a song of four. Okay. There's more to it. Okay. Number four can be pronounced as she as well. Okay. And the second reading of this number is she. And if you know something about Japanese language, she can mean this in kanji. Right? which means death. Yes, in Japanese, she means death. Okay. So, yon no uta, or song of four, could mean the song of death. It's a death metal song. <laughs> what an ominous song. Very ominous and sinister song right, in that respect. Right? But the power of the black baby metal, or baby metal as a whole, can take a song of sinister meanings and change it into a very happy song. Yes, as you go deep into the lyrics of the song, you will know, you will find that the content uh, of the song is very happy. Right? It makes people happy. So that's the beauty. That's the power of baby metal. Right? They can take something of bad luck and make it into happy, joyful song. Right? Yes. Okay. And uh, number four in Japanese culture is a, as I said, very baleful, ominous, sinister number because of its association to the notion of death. When I was young, and when I go on traveling, I find I found many hotels which do not have the fourth floor. <laughs> you know, one level above the third floor is fifth floor. No fourth floor. Why? Because nobody wants to stay in a hotel uh, overnight sleeping on the fourth floor floor of death. <laughs>
much in the same same way uh, uh, there were no hotel room numbers containing the number four uh, nobody wants to stay in a hotel room with number four uh, death number of death uh, uh, these situations have changed over years and uh, and, and uh, now not so many people uh, don't care about these things. These things are something of the past already. But still, many Japanese people dislike the number four. The number four in Japanese culture is almost like number 13 in Christian culture. And uh, when we buy a new automobile, a new car, People avoid having a license number containing number four. When you order a new car and uh, on the day of receiving a new car, your car salesman may come to you and say, Ah, oh, Mr. Duane, Duane san, I'm sorry, your license number has a number four. Do you mind? If you mind, we can change that. <laughs> So that is kind of an arrangement uh, car dealers show toward their uh, uh, customers. Right? Anyways, are you know uh, going on a on a trip or or driving a car? Uh, these activities, which uh, which uh, it, which uh, involves some 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 level of danger, people try to avoid number four. Yes, when you go on a sightseeing tour on a bus, eh, you can find bus number one, bus number two, number three, but there's no number four bus. Eh. Next one is number five bus. Eh. That's the traditional way. Eh. Okay. So, number four is a, has, has a, has a, big meaning uh, in Japanese culture. Uh, but baby metal, black baby metal, dare picked up this song of baleful meaning, song of bad luck, and changed it to a very happy song. Uh, that's the magic of the black baby metal. Uh, all right, at this point, let me uh, talk about Japanese uh, counting system uh, how we enumerate things uh, uh, Japanese enumeration system is as complicated and difficult to learn as French counting system <laughs> maybe even worse uh, so I will explain that here okay numbers one, two, three, four. Uh, when you count things, you go one, two, three, four in English. Okay? But Japanese has two enumeration systems, system A and system B. Okay? Uh, by the way, you can listen to all of these three uh, enumeration systems uh, in one of Baby Metal's songs titled uh, 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 bubble streamer, huh? Is that right? Eh? Awadama fever. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Why, why did I forget? Awadama fever, Awadama fever song. You can listen to them singing all of these three enumeration systems. They go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Ich ni san shi, he fu mi yo. Okay, uh, okay. All right, so these are the three systems we use in Japan. Let me start with this system B, okay. System B is a traditional uh, an indigenous way of counting things in Japan. Right? He, who, 
me yo okay? he who me yo okay? one two three four okay so uh, when you count say people we have to use uh, we have to add a counter so-called counter like uh, li okay? hitori futari mitari yotari okay? Okay. or uh, when you count things uh, you use tsu uh, as a counter and say hitotsu futatsu mitsu yotsu uh, so that's the traditional way of counting people and things uh, and the second type of counting is uh, ich ni san shi system okay. this came over to japan from china this is based uh, on chinese counting system okay. in chinese they count these numbers as e er san se okay. well my chinese pronunciation may not be perfect but that's the way it goes okay. E er san se. Okay. So we Japanese adopted Chinese counting system and gave a little tweak to them. Okay? But basically the same. Ich ni san shi. Okay. So these two counting systems coexist in Japan. And this may be very confusing to learners of Japanese. Okay? Uh, but uh, this system B is rather archaic these days and uh, people don't use this system very often uh, now and system A is predominantly used in modern Japanese okay ah there is there is something more to this something which might confuse your understanding of these systems even more okay you might wonder where is yong where is yong yong coming from okay uh, uh, yong yong yeah? there's no yong in either system well i tell you where it comes from okay yong came from this Yo, okay. Over the years, this yo took over the position of she, okay. Why? Because for one reason, she has an association to the notion of death, okay? and people don't like to use she okay, when they count things. Okay, that's one reason. And another reason is when you actually count things, uh, the typical counter for this system is ko. Okay? For example, if you if you count candies, one candy, two candy, three candies, you, in Japanese we say ikko niko sanko. Okay, ikko niko sanko. Okay. And when it comes to number four, shiko is very hard to say and listen to. Okay? Because when you say shiko, okay, the famous vowel reduction, the vowel uh, devoicing happens, and shiko becomes shiko, shiko. Shiko. Shiko is pretty hard to hear. You can't catch what people are saying when they say Ichin san shiko. So, uh, so people started to avoid using shiko. And instead, they adopted this traditional number, yo. And when yo took over this she and uh, uh, 
replaced as she, it became Ichini san yo. But at this time, yo is not sound, does not sound well. Instead of saying yo, if you put n to this and make it yo, mm, it sounds more like Chinese. Right? San Yong. Okay? So it blends well to other numbers in this basically Chinese system of counting. Right? So the whole system goes Ich Ni San Yong. Ich Ni San Yong. Right? Especially San Yong part. Uh, sounds well together. This pair uh, uh, rhyme together. Okay? San Yong, San Yong. Very ryth rhythmical, rhythmic. Uh, san Yong, San Yong, San Yong. Okay. So that's the reason we put uh, mm here to Yo. Okay? San Yong. Ichi ni San Yong. Uh, sounds much better than Ichi ni san yo. Right. Okay. So that's how yon was created. Right. I'm sorry, Japanese, you know, counting system, enumeration system is very complicated and confusing, but uh, please remember at least up to number 10 right, when you come to live in Japan. Uh, okay. All right. So that's the background of Yon no Uta. I hope you understood the background. Right? And next time I will go deep into the lyrics of the song. Thank you, and see you to to see you next time. Wow. <laughs>